my personal goal is I want to make the band softball team this year. I can do this by having a schedule for every other day to do exercises for arm strength. For example, how many push-ups I can do until I'm tired and see if I increase on my arm strength. And also practice batting and catching with someone at the baseball field near me. And my academic goal is to get my grades up in math. For example, I can finish all my work for the math notebooks and try to get at least a four out of five or more to get a or to get a B or higher. I can provide ev whoops. <laughs> I can provide evidence by evidence with a chart to show what my grades are each. Whoops. My grades are each week. Each week I, I get on my notebooks. Um, what progress have you observed in me? That you're obviously from the, you know, the chart that you're doing much better in math. Mm -hmm. And that you do do your homework, you know, you're very, she tries to do that before she does anything else. What do you think about my goals and progress? Progress is excellent. Your goals are excellent. Um, you know, the math already you're showing, what was it, a 90% already? Yeah. And I know you love softball and you're good at it, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna reach that goal. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, what opportunities might there be for working towards these goals? What does that mean? Yeah, I'm kind of. So, what can you do now that might help you to get these? Is there a time at home where she's working on the map? Is there um, an opportunity? I know she spoke to me about throwing the ball around with you as long as the weather was good. So, yeah. what are some things you can do now to kind of make sure that these goals stay focused? I mean, I try to help her with her math, but it's hard because I wasn't so great at it myself growing up, and um, especially now the new math, I'm completely lost with it. But um, we try to sometimes look online to see if we can find anything, you know, yep. that might help. Um, mm -hmm. And now that it's becoming winter, I'm not sure how many chances mm -hmm. we're going to get to go outside. Maybe in the spring, though. Yeah. yeah. You know. Get them in early, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. One strength that I have is listening, and I do very well to listen to the teachers when they are speaking. And other is having respect for the teachers and respecting them. Um, my strengths are work completion. One area I can improve is keep track of time when working. And I will make my strengths get better as, they, as the year goes on. Another area I am going to target is not to be distracted by others. And I plan to persevere to get better and better until I succeed my strengths. So the work completion is something you have to work on, right? Yeah. Is it? It's three of the highest. I can't remember. It's three I remember out of four. four. Is the okay. Okay. I remember seeing it on the progress reports. Yep. Three is proficient. She's doing what she needs to do. Okay. Two, it's happening some of the time. We right. just want to be a little more consistent with yeah. it. Yeah. English. A piece of work I am proud of in English class this year is my memoir presentation. Because I got an A plus and I am proud of that because I, I had to stand in front of the class and present and present my presentation pre present, present my presentation. <laughs> a piece in science, a piece of work I am proud of in science class this year is a worksheet I worked on called Evening Sky because it was my first assignment and I got an A minus on it. One of my strong skills in science is paying attention and learning from what the teacher is saying or demonstrating. One skill I need to work on in science is try and get some <laughs> answers correct. Um, Always a good one, huh? 
Yeah. Is that on like um, quizzes or yeah. what, what yeah, specifically? Yeah, like quizzes or homework. Yeah, your like study questions. habits have to yeah. get So do better. you have tests in science? And, and yeah, we only had a couple tests though this year. That was very good, Shannon. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, you did a nice job with your presentation. Yeah. Thank you. Um, what other goals do you think I could work on in the future? Just your study habits. Like I know once I got out of high school and into um, community college, I found that I was very visual. So I would take notes mm -hmm. and then I would redo the notes and I would highlight different things. <laughs> That's what she does. I do. I highlight everything, you know, and I'd make study sheets for myself. And I did the same thing in nursing school. And that's how I was able to, because I could kind of remember in my head what color this was and then the answers yeah. underneath it. So, but I mean, you have to find your own way to yeah. do it. Um, there are a couple of other options as well during Beams. They have the Beams Cafe. So that's, oh, I did see that. Yeah, and it's another time for folks to do some, um, you know, extra homework with adults there that right. can help if you have questions. So if you don't have something going right after school, I think that's a great option yeah. for you. Um, yeah. And you could bring that in next Monday, paperwork. And there were a lot of other really great activities. Oh, really? Going on, yeah. I thought it was a really complete offering of mm -hmm. uh, after school activities and so if there's anything there that might be interesting Shannon I'd encourage you to do it yeah uh, <coughs> I guess the other thing is tutoring right mm -hmm. we talked about that in another one there is some tutoring that's available um, after school or before school mm -hmm. it's not a bad idea either okay good job any other final thoughts mm -mm. You did a great job. Thank you. Good really job did. talking about yeah. yourself. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's not easy. No.